Hi everyone and welcome to day three of camp. We've had day one and two, obviously. This is day three and today is competition day. That's naughty. So it's 7.30, got a nice text from Medical Laser. 7.30 and Lara is just having her breakfast. Good morning team. Hello. Looking serious over here guys. Wow, Tina's actually plaiting. Nice. Yeah. Look at this. That's a really good and yeah. quick job. They look good. Are you banding or are you threading? Oh, bloody banding, I can't do thread. Oh, bloody banding, I can't do thread. Oh, bloody banding, oh, bloody banding, banding, oh, bloody banding. <laughs> well, anyway, how's it going? Good morning, guys! A bit of a different team that's actually started the vlog. How are you all, Baz? Oh, good, we're in They're the same really boat. They're really nice, aren't they? We're in the same boat. To be fair, you can't even see them because. There we go, there's that mane. That long Connie mane. Basically, we're doing a dressage test first, and the dressage test that. Did Cameron choose it for us? The dressage test that Cameron has chosen for us is Novice 112 which in it has got medium trot, leg yield, medium canter, cantering down the centre line. They can do medium canter, though. Yeah, well, no, we can do medium canter fine. <laughs> Obviously, patchy, patchy ponies are great at medium canter. <laughs> so, yeah, and none of us have looked at it yet. None of us have I learned it. I think Oh, yeah. okay. Well, no, I've looked at it, but I haven't learned it. So, have you learned it? I learned it in bed this morning. It takes me about a year to learn a dressage test. Lara is having breakfast, as you just saw. So, I've got Simon's bike, which, thank you, Simon, in advance for letting me use this, because all of my plaiting stuff and everything is back at my lorry, which is in the lorry park. Right, so I've got into the Equitrek lorry, which I'm using, and uh, to get some of my stuff, because he needs Competition to day. Too. Competition day, and then, I thought this is the perfect time to show you what I've been obsessed with this week, which is this Y food stuff, which these guys actually... Hashtag influence. You, literally. And I said, <laughs> Tina, I really want to try this. She was like, don't really see. I'll get some. And she I was, was like, I apologise in advance. There might not be any left for Kat. Yeah. I was like, Lucy, that's meant to be enough for all of us. I know. <laughs> I thought they were all for me, but they're not. <laughs> so I've been like tucking in. They're like meal replacements. So when you're like at a competition day and you don't, um, and you can't, you know, you don't feel like eating, normally you just feel like having a sip or something because you're nervous. These are perfect and I actually had one at Islam, which really set me up for the day and I didn't feel hungry. Anyway, yeah, I've, I'm, this is why this morning I'm going to enjoy a cold brew coffee. Anyway, so this is, this is what I'm gonna have this morning. Yeah, I need to bring this down on the bike. Sorry, Simon, I, the chain did just come off your bike, so I just have to do a quick fixy jobby. Oh my gosh, look at all these Cardin Martin products. This is my bag of delight, all these things to make Lyle look pretty. Dream coat, this stuff's a dream, literally. I don't think I'm gonna have enough hands, so I'm gonna put you down my trousers and uh, see you in a bit. Right, I just started plaiting. I've literally done three long rundown plaits and Simon has come and kidnapped me because apparently the course walk is now and not at 8.30 like I thought it was. But luckily, Emily is first in the dressage. Oh, and there's Tina. She's finally got out of her velvet pajamas. We're walking the cross country now with Simon. Simon's gonna talk us through it, walk us through it. Hopefully give us some hints from a five-star rider how to ride a cross-country course, so very excited. I'm currently also standing in my dressage arena for the test I haven't learned yet. Sugar. Oh, I'm stressed actually. How am I gonna learn a test in like four minutes? I don't know. Simon. But I I wish I did. One thing I noticed yesterday, because I did watch a little bit of your messages. So we were all rubbish. No, you weren't rubbish, <laughs> but. Just, just, just sometimes I just felt like you could just have done with being a little bit more forward, but I don't mean faster, I just yeah, mean yeah. with more. Counter. You want, need them to be taking you a little bit more, yeah. I think. But that doesn't mean going around like a crazy person. 
Yeah. Tina. <laughs> like a what? Yeah, like a crazy person. person. Oh, okay. <laughs> it just means make it so. So I think that before you start, get the canter going in a nice rhythm and try and stick to that rhythm in the, yeah. whole, in the whole course. Yeah. It's it's relatively relatively straightforward, and you've got options about what you do or what you don't want to do. Another thing I noticed yesterday was that you guys weren't particularly good with your eyes, looking where you're going next all the time. You're focusing very much on the here and now, the fence that you're at, and what you'd be thinking about where you're going next. So make sure as you're coming around there. Make sure they don't realise that they're not running out of that one next time. Um, and you're thinking, focusing on this fence, keeping your eyes on that so you don't end up shooting around and losing the shoulder. And then this three lovely fences, a nice straight line, and you can just keep riding that nice rhythm, yeah? Make sure they're aware that you're coming to this, because this is fairly decent in comparison to jumped already, so you make sure that they're up in front of you. But you should be flowing by some point. overcomplicate it it's just two fences on a bit of a curve they're not particularly big yeah. and you just need to make sure that you focus on your line and make sure that you're in the middle just get to that corner why has it got a little yellow square on it Simon? Uh, it means it's a novice fence yes. yeah they're not particularly yes. big he says yeah. <laughs> it's actually tiny it's only I mean, it's only one ten. from a nice fine. orange it's the trouble when you walk with a five star <laughs> ride totally yellow banana. yeah they're like let's go from a 90 yeah, to a novice yeah, just, <laughs> let's miss out the steps in between well, we yeah, it's quite, yeah, it's quite a big in. one. Oh, <sighs> flip, flip. What did you get, Simon? Five. Simon says five. five. Simon but, but says don't, But don't overcomplicate it. Just get to it. Yeah. Just keep on riding to it. Just make sure you're in the middle. Okay. Let's jump the tiniest fence on the course after we've just jumped a novice corner. That was a good idea. <laughs> but I'd say that I'd say this is more difficult. No, I would not. I would disagree. You're, well, you're a lot more, you're a lot more likely to run past this. Yeah. We, a lot more likely yeah. to pass this than that. Yeah, well, we we're like more likely to land on that I one. Like so. that. I'm more likely well, to fall off the right amount of energy. That's not. true. Um, I like that response. Have none. You can you can jump whichever one you want, Em. Try a wide ditch. Yeah, you just have to handbrake turn to this one if you jump the smaller one. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm the last to be ready. And look, I'm not even tacked up because my tack's at my other lorry, I hope. Um, yeah, so I would say I'm queen disorganised today. What a shock. Okay, Lucy Lou. Oh, thought <laughs> E big C. We thought you were going in then. She's looking really smart. Her dress has just come on so much. Oh no, 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 no. Leg yield loose. Oh no, Lucy, Lucy. Where is she going? She is going to be seething. Yes, girl. <laughs> I was like, I could just canter straight down to them if you want. Yeah, Woo! 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 Well, that happened again. <laughs> I went <laughs> wrong! Oh my gosh! That is a shock, isn't it? Lucy Robinson going wrong in a dressage test, never. Yep. I didn't go wrong once, wrong once. I didn't go wrong twice. Technically, I should have been eliminated <laughs> for going wrong three times in a test, but when it went wrong You're once, out jumping loose. yeah, and it went wrong once, my brain went a bit to mush, and so also forgot how to do a 15 meter circle at the beginning. I did oh, like a 10 meter circle, and I was like, What am I doing? Anyway, we've done the dressage, so we're actually changing for cross country now. Um, which, yeah, I'm gonna have to put my positive mind on and just go and have some fun. All right, so I'm walking to the cross country. Yes, I don't have my hat on, but that's because I left my other hat with my GoPro strap in the lorry. Laura's all ready. I'd like to say I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Gonna have to get a super, super clear round if uh, I'm in with any chance of not going through all my probably horrendous dressage marks. But I will say that I don't actually, I won't actually know the score to tell you which is why you're going to have to watch the Horse and Country TV 
to find out. You have to make sure you've got your H&C Plus subscriptions. I think it's $5.99 a month, maybe. Enough of that for now. I will have to catch up with you when we're hopefully <laughs> got through this next challenge. I think it's not a phase anymore. It's just become a challenge. So anyway, uh, ciao for now. Naughty. I let her get long. Yep. God. Simon, sorry. Yeah. Okay. You had a bit of a crisis confidence, but oh my goodness, did you? I think that's been kind of story of my life this week. Um, but luckily, had the help of Simon, who really sorted me out and just, I was just overthinking. What is wrong with me? <laughs> Oh. You're, you're yeah. We're all the same. Yeah. You just have how you deal with it. And you've got to try and switch the focus on. And also when you've got two of them that you're worried about. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. We survived, everybody. And um, I think I've had a full on 
mindset counselling session from Simon to get me round that because I had a really bad warm-up fence where I was basically just overthinking every single thing in the whole entire world and had a bad shot to it, it was about 50 centimetres so I then had a panic because I was like bum I can't even get over that nicely then what am I gonna do for the rest of the course but she actually then went really well we had one blip where coming out of the water could have got the stride but she was just a bit a little bit naughty Lara and she said no mum I think you need to take me to that again because I just let her get a little bit long through the water so she had a cheeky run out but we got over it and then I did the corner combo which I was pretty terrified about and she was absolutely fine and then flew the rest. You get four points for each fence you jump and if you knock it down you don't get those four points. This competition is all about the positive. Yeah. yeah. Ah. Rather than because oh, that's... So a building point. Because I always remember one of my really good friends was like, I tried to explain the rules and he was like, so basically, at the end of the day, it's whoever does the least bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Literally. And I was like, yeah. So you don't want any points. Yeah. 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 So, so people quite... that do not stand eventing do think it's... We're all mad, really, yeah. don't we? Yeah. I mean, I guess we are. I think it's a really good habit, so it's positive. So you, you gain four points for each fence you jump, but then the joker is worth 50. If you keep it up. But if you leave, if you knock it down or you stop at it, then you don't get any points. You could win it back. I can and win you it. you still jump the joker clear, you could still win because you would have more points. Then the well, then this is a no-brainer then, isn't it? So I think the verdict is that I've got to walk the, I've got to, I've got to jump the joker because it's worth so many points and I can climb back, kind of claw back my way back up to try and beat these unbeatable girls. Oh, oh wow. Well, just go, let's go into the middle and just run through the course. Reactions from these guys who are on the ground. Sam, the ding a The ding a ling, you're fine. Tina's going first. Guys, you've, you've got this in the bag. You've got this. <laughs> in comes the inner show jumper in Tina Wallace. So I guess now's a good time to explain what's happened. I basically tacked her up for the show jumping. So she was quite reluctant to come out of her stable. I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna have a sit on her in the indoor warm her up a bit, see how she feels, and she just, she just felt a bit tired. And I thought, do you know what? If I've got any negative thoughts in my head from the outset, then it's just, it's just not a good idea. So I thought I'm gonna call it a day, end on a high with the cross country. And, um, and that was, that's exactly what I've done. So now she's gonna have a little bit of a chill out, hopefully have a graze and obviously I watched everyone else's fantastic show jumping rounds and it was really lovely to watch them from the sidelines but I think I definitely made the right decision in not taking her in the show jumping and I've ended happy and that's the main thing. I'm somewhere in the middle Try to find myself again But life is one big riddle of the future and what's been. Give team wave. Wave. Yay. 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 Wave. 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 Clapping you. Wave. Real wave. clapping. Wave. And Jenny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jenny. I'm Who just busy Jenny? sending you your dress match tests. Oh, really? So we can look at oh, the oh Sad times. Look at this. Packing away the cameras. Have you had fun? Actually, I think it's my time to interview you guys. That's How's good. it been? been an experience. It has been. It's been very busy. So I have to pan up then. Yes, oh, don't get it. Okay, I'll, I'll have yeah. my really. What's been your highlight? Uh, that's a great question. Dare I say it? <laughs> don't, you can't, you can't say that. Say you can't no, it, say that. Top secret bit of footage a top that you need to watch. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. my yeah. gosh, this is huge. Thank you, big claps. And uh, <laughs> see, see you for season two. Season two. Woo! This is what it's like working with these two. My name's Jenny Rudel. You have been watching a vlog on YouTube. Thank you and good night. Oh, you I need to get a kick on. Your sign up. Yeah. True. Oh, yeah. Like, like love, comment, love, subscribe. Yeah.
Right, my right. name's Jenny Rudel. It's been emotional. Oh, well, hasn't it just? <laughs> right. Right. There she goes. Jenny, the, the, kick. Kick. the kick, the Rudel kick. I'm about to go home and okay. follow all of you. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny Rudel has left the building. Swipe up and go to bed. Cut! Yes. Cut. <laughs> That's a wrap. I'm sitting in the back of the lorry just before we go, we're having a little team debrief. And we've got the Gallop and Glory boxes here, which had a little sneaky challenge lined up. For anyone who doesn't know who Gallop and Glory are, they are a subscription box company. They're not just equestrian based, although we get a lot of equestrian ones because obviously we're horsey mad, but they also do like country ones and then they can do like dressage, eventing, specific boxes. They've got uniform boxes full of like sparkly things. So there's monthly subscription boxes and also like gift boxes. There's a massive variety and you always get incredible things in there for the price that you pay. The lovely Susie has done some mystery boxes. Okay. So these, normally they have a really nice theme, like a color or like I said, eventing or something. Um, but these ones are completely random and Lucy is gonna have to guess what's inside them whilst blindfolded yeah. with an equilite and wear, wearing her Herzl gloves. So it's gonna be quite a hard challenge. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> We've got Mike Wazowski ready to go. And Where's she's going to be opening this. <laughs> phone <laughs> <Mystery phone home. laughs> Oh, it's been a long She's week. gonna be opening this mystery box here. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I saw a nice pink wrapping, which I normally would say because I like definitely to definitely black wrapping. Oh. <laughs> Careful of the bow, ribbon. I keep going. Sorry, what do you mean? I can't see anything. Yeah, I know. But... I've also got gloves on, so my touch is impeded. But these gloves are impeccably <laughs> soft. I must say. The thing about the Galloping Glory box is that they're beautifully and packaged. And... No, no, the bow, the bow. Right, pull there. Well, well done. It's like teaching a child. Okay, so you see the lovely tissue paper inside. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And then just, uh, just fire away. We've got a bit of an audience now here. Okay. Well, okay, I can feel some stuffing here. Well, this is... <laughs> it, well, it's either got something like plating bands in. No. Well, it's a round... Lick it, that'll help you. Me? Yeah, that'll help you. I don't want to lick the box. No, 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 no. honestly, I promise you. <laughs> no, help. no, you're lying. Shut up. Do I have to open it? Open it, like, open it and smell it. Is it like poo poo? Poo poo in a Tupperware box. <laughs> no, Susie stopped doing the poo in a Tupperware. It didn't get down very well. <laughs> Is it this? Yay! Yay! Ding! What's <laughs> smelling? <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get you to lick it. Right. And have I needed one of these? Yeah, and also that's a really good one. The For all the ones. pure dressage that I'm now going to do. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe once you uh, remember something. Yeah, no. <laughs> that's just come out of the box. <laughs> lick it, you find out. You two look very smart in your matching. Uh, I think very smart at giving it away. Studs? No, right, Ooh. feel it. Actually feel. Come on. Oh. Feel like this bit here. So like, give me a, give me a little pull. It's a bit kinky. Feel actually. that, and then feel how narrow that is, and then then just bring your hand oh, up oh. here. What is this? <laughs> Scurfy. Something <laughs> that I do. Emily got up really early to use one of these yesterday. Plating comb. Yeah. No, it's not. Make any pattern that you like. Come to market. Yeah. Yes. Oh, We're gonna give that. you half a ding. Because we gave quite a lot of it. Is that kind of way? Yeah, that's oh, really wow. cool. It's got basically it's different heads cool. on it, Lou, so that you can. So, all of this stuff is stuff that could appear in Gallop and Glory boxes, we should have said. Right, well, <laughs> what you guys didn't know is that our, my camera decided to stop kind of midway through the flow. However, we did complete the unboxing. We did, and you did we? very well. And I did. I, that's annoying because I think I did really well. Did we miss the unicorn and the nipple bit? Oh, was, the nipple! That was comedy gold! It was comedy gold! But you oh. guys will never know! Meg, you're going to have to do a demo We've now. We've got a unicorn key ring from Sophie Walpole. Quartz oh, markings. Yeah, it has quartz marking combs. Stock pin, which is oh, going to be... I haven't seen that yet. Oh, yeah, you haven't seen that yet. Oh, it's, yeah. it's lo in With lovely the bag. With on it. Comes oh, the bag. look, so nice! You've got this cool high-vis thing that you can... Uh, 
attached to your horse's bottom. And it's a pickaxe. Sorry, wait. You have to show them. It is spiky. Yeah. It is spiky, the isn't spikiest it? spikiest one I've ever seen. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you were pleased about this. You were really excited yeah, about I'm this. Yeah, I'm buzzing about this. Here it is. Hey. Yay. Very good. Thank you, Susie, for our things. We're going Best to now boxes ever. continue. I've never yeah. had a box before. Ooh, I'm excited. Well, um, I think these are getting ready boxes, so do you want one of these? Is it like plastic boxes? Yeah. Oh. Plastic boxy for you. Thanks. Thank you, Susie. Yes. It's been an absolute pleasure. What sort of stuff Never a chore. Never a chore. A pledge. Not a chore. A plush plush. You've got the worst chat now and you need to uh, go home and have a bath. I'll go home and Stinky. read the dictionary again and yeah. see if I can improve it for next time. <laughs> bye Meg. Say bye vlog. Bye boy. Yeah. Say bye vlog. Bye. Tina, say bye vlog. Bye. Oh, that was so <laughs> close. <laughs> oh my God. Just, oh, no, just luck it is. Right, well everyone else said bye. So. I'm going to say bye too. Sign out, guys. Sayonara. It's, it's been a fantastic pleasure That's with you all. Stuff, it's it? been amazing. It's been amazing. Thank you, Simon, Cameron, Amanda, the yard team, oh, yeah, well oh, Digital yeah. Horse, Horse and Country, all the sponsors, Toggy, Champion, Free Jump, Herzl, Gallop and Glory. Equilite. Equilite. She's only got one arm round her neck. <laughs> yeah, everyone's here. On. Equilite. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yep, it is. Highlands for the merch. Why food, jewels for our lovely cosy super pyjamas, which we did our challenge in, but it's top secret. You're never going to be able to see that one, guys, that I'm never afraid. Get um, yeah, thank you, everyone. There's so yeah, many well, people to thank and not enough time because we need to really, really go. So hope yeah, you yeah. watch everyone else's vlogs as well because there's going to be plenty to watch. And uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to all of our channels and keep an eye out for Swipe Up, Kick On, On Horse and Country, Agency Plus, four episodes, an hour long each. Go Download, subscribe, Download, and then we'll be back for Series 2. And then, yeah, who knows, Series 2. Tell them you want it, baby. In yeah. the pipeline. Anyway, right, ciao for now, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.